You know, in industrial robotics, it's always a red letter day when a new robot line is announced. I'm with Sebastian Schmidt, he's a robotics division manager for Stout Blue Corporation. Sebastian, I understand that you've introduced a new robot series, the TX2. Tell me about it. Yeah, absolutely. The TX2 series is featuring a new uh, generation of safety performance and also collaborative uh, capabilities. So, uh, with the TX2 series, we're capable of addressing all different stage of the MRC man robot collaboration from stage one to stage five, which allows us to to do collaborative uh, uh, application standard application. Now, it's uh, collaborative robots, of course. This is in the news ever. Everyone is talking about working collaboratively. But what is true collaboration? Because we, we know that there are multiple sort of stages or levels at which you can allow a human being to approach the robot before we ask it to stop or slow down. Absolutely. So there is three families, like categorizing three families. The stage one, which is uh, where the robot is in cage and there is no contact possible. So this is what you see most of the robotic application. Then the stage two and three, which is the contact possible, but at stationary position. So in other words, the robot is no longer moving when the man is approaching and touching the robot. The stage four and five is the last families where the robot continuously moves even though the human being is next to it. So those are the three families of the collaboration. The TX2 is capable of handling all five of those stages. Sebastian, that's interesting because it's uh, there are some users, of course, that simply have no need of a fully automated process and other than service, there's just no need for a human being to get close. So they may not wish to spend the money and buy full collaborative capability. But the TX2 series, you can have either, you can go full collaborative or guarded? Yes, absolutely. So it's an evolutive solution. In other words, you don't have to make that choices ahead of time saying, do I need to be uh, collaborative or not? Do I need to sacrifice performance towards a collaborative solution or not? You don't have to make that choice. The TX2 is the world's fastest safe robot. It's capable of doing full speed, full performance, as well as a full uh, collaborative solution. Now, Sebastian, you're showing the TX2 doing multiple things at the same time. This is general purpose robotics in this case. Which industries in specific do you expect will be the early adopters? Obviously, uh, the automotive industry has always been leading uh, uh, new features and developments. So we see the automotive industry pushing a lot for new technologies. So uh, we help the automotive industry going towards that solution. But also other industries uh, having those new concept of being able to collaborate with the robot shows uh, new capabilities. And do you expect um, the early adopters of TX2 series to go all the way into full collaboration or will there be a mix do you expect? That? I think it depends on, on uh, really the task they're looking to perform and the complexity of it. Uh, I, I see mostly the uh, MRC 2 and 3 being the high popular areas and 4 and 5 being more into a future, future concept and a future use. The new TX2 robot series from Stoutley Corporations with Sebastian Schmidt.